spring is a time of change, typically welcome change. Days are longer, weather is nicer, flowers and fauna are blooming. It connotes new beginnings and promises of better days ahead. Yet as humans, we tend to resist change. It's hard, it's uncomfortable, it's stressful, and there's a reason it takes 30 days to form a habit. We like things the way they are. It's what we're used to and just more comfortable. Still, change is inevitable. The quote, adapt or die, attributed to Charles Darwin, may be harsh, but speaks to a fundamental truth that it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one most adaptable to change. What does this have to do with real estate, you might be wondering? In a word, everything. As we speak, cities and counties throughout Washington are engaged in adopting their comprehensive plans required by the Growth Management Act to define policies related to land use, housing, capital facilities, utilities, transportation, rural development, parks and recreation, and neighborhood plans. The land use element sets the direction for future growth in a community, while the housing element requires local governments to plan for and accommodate housing affordable to all economic segments, promote a variety of residential densities and housing types, and encourage preservation of existing housing stock. These changes are critical and necessary. This graph shows the meteoric rise in property values on the east side in the last nine years. We're talking a staggering 166% increase in median sale price since 2015. This fundamentally is a supply problem. We do not have enough homes to meet the demand. This reality is further complicated when we consider our area's growth projections. Puget Sound Regional Council is projecting growth across Snohomish, Pierce, Kitsap, and King Counties to exceed 3.2 million people by the year 2040. The obvious question being, where are they going to live? So in addition to the supply problem, we have a variety of housing stock problem. This is why the passage of House Bill 1110 was so important, requiring cities to allow a broader range of housing types in areas that have predominantly been detached homes. Think ADUs, detached ADUs, cottage housing, duplexes, triplexes, and low-rise apartment buildings, collectively often referred to as missing middle housing. We need more ownership opportunities across all rungs of the housing ladder to build thriving communities and meet the demand spurred by population growth. You may be familiar with the quote, be the change you wish to see in the world, attributed to Mahatma Gandhi. So to do just that and help facilitate thoughtful and creative change, I was recently appointed to the City of Kirkland's Planning Commission, where I work alongside six others to advise the City Council on all matters related to Kirkland's comprehensive plan. We are currently working through the Kingsgate and Juanita neighborhood plans. And throughout this process, the public is invited to weigh in and we welcome their input, which spans a gamut between excited about the vision to highly resistant to some of the proposed changes. I get it. We get it. Again, change is hard. And while we can't control it, we can embrace it, choose to be part of it, and help shape it. Change is also necessary if we want a place where people from all walks of life, including our teachers, police and firemen, baristas, and even our own children, to be able to call the place where we live their home too. I'm proud to be a realtor and part of the City of Kirkland's Planning Commission. Feel free to reach out. I welcome your feedback.